Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We are reading from the book of Jasher, chapter 51, verses 1 through 26, and it reads as follows. And Jacob afterward heard that there was corn in Egypt, and he called unto his sons to go to Egypt to buy corn. For upon them also did the famine prevail, and he called unto his sons, saying, Behold, I hear that there is corn in Egypt, and all the people of the earth go there to purchase. Now therefore they will you show yourselves satisfied before the whole earth. Go you also down to Egypt, and buy us a little corn among those that come there, that we may not die. And the sons of Jacob hearkened to the voice of their father, and they rose up to go down to Egypt in order to buy corn among the rest that came there. And Jacob their father commanded them, saying, When you come into the city, do not enter together in one gate on account of the inhabitants of the land. And the sons of Jacob went out, and they went into Egypt. And the sons of Jacob did all as their father had commanded them. And Jacob did not send Benjamin, for he said, Lest an accident might befall him on the road like his brother. And ten of Jacob's sons went out. And while the sons of Jacob were going to the road, they repented of what they had done to Joseph. And they spoke to each other, saying, We know that our brother Joseph went down to Egypt, and now we will seek him where we go. And if we find him, we will take him from his master for a ransom. And if not, by force, and we will die for him. And the sons of Jacob agreed to this thing and strengthened themselves on account of Joseph to deliver him from the hand of his master and the sons of Jacob went to Egypt. And when they came near to Egypt, they separated from each other. And they came through ten gates of Egypt. And the gatekeepers wrote their names on that day and brought them to Joseph in the evening. And Joseph read the names from the hand of the gatekeepers of the city. And he found that his brethren had entered at the ten gates of the city. And Joseph at the time commanded that it should be proclaimed throughout the land of Egypt, saying, Go out, all of you store guards, close all the corn stores, and let only one remain open, that those who come may purchase from it. And all the officers of Joseph did so at that time. And they closed all the stores and left only one open. And Joseph gave the written names to his brethren to him that was set over the open store. And he said unto him, Whosoever will come to you to buy corn, ask his name and when men of these names will come before you seize them and send them and they did so and when the sons of jacob came into the city they joined together in the city to seek joseph before they bought themselves corn and they went to the walls of the harlots and they sought joseph in the walls of the harlots for three days for they thought that joseph would come in the walls of the harlots for joseph was very comely and well favored and the sons of jacob sought joseph for three days, and they could not find him. And the man who was set over the open store sought for those names, which Joseph had given him, and he did not find them. And he sent to Joseph, saying, These three days have passed, and those men whose names you did give unto me have not come. And Joseph sent servants to seek the men in all Egypt, and to bring them before Joseph. And Joseph's servants went and came into Egypt and could not find them, and went to Goshen, and they were not there. And they then went to the city of Ramses and could not find them. And Joseph continued to send sixteen servants to seek his brothers. And they went and spread themselves in the four corners of the city. And the four of the servants went into the house of the harlots, and they found the ten men there seeking their brother. And those four men took them and brought them before him. And they bowed down to him to the ground, and Joseph was sitting upon his throne in his temple, clothed with princely garments, and upon his head was a large crown of gold. And all the mighty men were sitting around him. And the sons of Jacob saw Joseph, and his figure and comeliness and dignity of countenance seemed wonderful in their eyes. And they again bowed down to him to the ground. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but they knew him not, for Joseph was very great in their eyes, therefore... They knew him not, and Joseph spoke to them, saying, From where do you come? And they all answered and said, Your servants have come from the land of Canaan to buy corn, for the famine prevails throughout the earth, and your servants heard that there was corn in Egypt, so they have come among the other comers to buy corn for their support. 
And Joseph answered them, saying, If you have come to purchase as you say, why do you come through ten gates of the city? It can only be that you have come to spy through the land. And they all together answered Joseph and said, Not so, my lord, we are right. Your servants are not spies, but we have come to buy corn. For your servants are all brothers, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And our father commanded us, saying, when you come to the city, do not enter together at one gate on account of the inhabitants of the land. And Joseph again answered them and said, This is the thing which I spoke unto you and have come to spy through the land. Therefore you all came through ten gates of the city. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. Surely everyone that comes to buy corn goes this way, and you are already three days in the land. And what do you do in the walls of the harlots in which... You have been for three days. Surely spies do like unto these things. And they said unto Joseph, Far be it from our Lord to speak thus, for we are twelve brothers, the sons of our father Jacob in the land of Canaan, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the Hebrew, and behold, the youngest is with our father this day in the land of Canaan, and one is not, for he was lost from us, and we thought perhaps he might be in this land, so we are seeking him throughout the land, and have come even to houses of harlots to seek him there. Amen.